a war of addition to thee. One's Bluetooth, so the other adds phone pairing, so the other adds MP3, so the other adds GPS, so the other adds radio, so the other adds voice command, so the other adds four-way intercom. Then eight, now 15. As motorcyclists, we watch the Cardo send a feud with popcorn and a grin because it's come to the point where almost every com has everything you could want from it. Back it up. A war of addition. Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a guy. Cardo enters the battle for 2018 with last year's winner, the Pack Talk. Only now it's the Pack Talk Bold. Two changes since last. At first lay, they ditched the whole scale the router bullshit. Cardo finally realized that having two names for one thing makes much confusion and little sense. Second change is enormous. Asena Slayer. As of now, the Pack Talk has always on voice recognition. Hey Cardo, play next song. Playing Celine Dion. See, the problem with comms in general, and Cardo in specific, has always been tiny buttons. And to make it do anything, you have to press this, or this and this together, or hold the wheel for three seconds, then roll it backwards seven times. Nobody can remember the call sequences, let alone perform them with gloves on. But now with Cardo, you don't have to. OK Google and Hey Siri work too, by the way, which really expands possibilities. OK Google, open the garage door. Hey Siri. What's the chance of rain? Pretty much anything your phone can answer, you can ask. So, what can Senna say to that? Well, where the Pack Talk turned bold, the Senna 20S turned Evo, naturally. The so called evolution is this a nub and antenna. So, longer range? Not really. The old 20S claimed two kilometers device to device. This 20S Evo claims the same. Senna states that the nubbin is about strengthening the signal within the specified 1.2 mile range to enhance stability, but the truth is that they're actually trying to get closer to the bullshit 2 kilometers they promised in the first place. The old 20S vowed 2 clicks and got 600 meters. Now my 20S Evo pledges the same 2 kilometers, but I'm getting 800 meters on flat ground. Our Pack Talk Bold also does 0.8 kilometers, by the way, though to Cardo's credit, they only promised 1.6. Range rant resolved. What else is new on the 20S Evo? Nothing, nada, zip, zero. Everything else is a relic from the 2014 model, notably the Bluetooth intercom, which is damn near obsolete. Well, for one, the quality is shit. Send his own promo video can attest. Hey, orange tree. Oh, it is, huh? <laughs> The other downside to Bluetooth is that it's finicky. You can have eight riders chatting, but they need to be very careful about who pairs with who and in what order. If the wrong rider falls behind, intercom shatters, everyone needs to redo the parent dance. Easy now. An alternative, which you'll find in the Pack Talk, is called Mesh. It's a different type of network, a self-healing network, where each of 15 devices is aware of every other. If one rider falls behind, the other units leapfrog their signal to triple or quadruple the range. If a rider leaves entirely, everyone else stays intact. If the rider comes back, it's automatically re-added. Mesh is so much easier to use. I can't understand how Senna failed to match Cardo on that. Or how they failed to make the 20S Evo waterproof when the Pack Talk is. Or how they're asking the same price, $350. If at first you don't succeed, the Senna 30K. And like the Pack Talk, it has a Bluetooth processor for chatting with older comms and a mesh communicator, meaning it can compete with Cardo in a few areas. Like public mode, which is where every 30K acts as an open transmitter and receiver, meaning the more devices you add, the more devices you can add. Now, I don't have that many friends anyway, but if you can cram 10,000 buddies into one square mile, that'll be quiet the conversation. Senna also has way better base mounts than Cardo. They have auxiliary ports, so if you've got something old that needs to be hardwired, like an MP3 or an ancient radar detector, it's possible. There's also a microphone in the base. You press this button and it can amplify the ambient noise, making it easy to chat with someone without taking your helmet off. Senna base plates are even more secure. The device slides vertically into place, so if you accidentally hit the release, you'll hear the audio cut, but gravity ensures that unit isn't going anywhere. Cardo, on the other hand, clips in horizontally. One missed finger jab? Bye bye, Cardo. Senna wins again on kit. And both brands include all the sticky mounts, clamp mounts, wired mics, boom mics, speakers, velcros, fuzzies, but only Senna 
sends the travel charger. So the 30K does a few little things better than the competition. Unfortunately, there are also three fatal issues. One, it still isn't waterproof. And when I say that, I'm not referring to the physical integrity of these devices, but rather the manufacturer's integrity and standing by their shit. I've ridden through downpours in both Senna's and Cardo's. Both came out fine, but if they didn't, Cardo would send me a new one. Senna wouldn't. And thirdly, and thirdly, it's $390. It's $40 more than the Pack Talk. It's a damn ripoff. Damn ripoff. So our Pack Talk Bold was looking pretty good to win this year's title until Cardo shot themselves in the foot with this Pack Talk Slim. Exact same device. Mesh communication, hey Cardo, voice activation, waterproof. But this time, it's split in two. Rather than hanging a brick off my neck, I get this tiny 6.5 millimeter wide controller. Then the heavy stuff like the battery and the jacks are centralized at the rear of the neck roll. Installation is as easy as ever. Just slide the shims between shell and EPS. It's damn near universal. Cardo does define a list of compatible helmets, but these are just the ones they've actually got around to trying. So long as your helmet has a pretty normal neckline, it should go on smooth. Only hiccup is that the rear unit might have HJC written on it. A remnant from a time when HJC and Cardo were in bed together. So, all the benefits of a pack talk, slightly shorter range, but way slicker look. And the pack talk slim is a winner, the winner, the best communication system of 2018. Oh, hold on. The Pactock Slim, Bold, and 20S are all $350. The 30K is $390. It's all kind of expensive, eh? <sighs> okay, here's the thing. Middle range comms are all Bluetooth only. At the moment, your high-end comms can talk to mesh and Bluetooth, but that's an interim thing. Another couple of years, the industry is only going to be mesh. So to buy a mid-range Bluetooth comm now, it's a ticket on the Titanic. Only way to make a good buy below $300 is way back in basics. The Cardo Free Comp. If you have no friends. If you have no friends or just want to talk to your phone or music or GPS, there's the Free Comp 1 for $140. If you have one friend. And they happen to be on the back of your bike. And there's the Free Comp 2, which has the ability to talk to a pillion via Bluetooth. $160. You won't miss mesh networking? Well, not if you don't intend on joining a network. And aside from having near zero range and no voice control, these have all the Cardo benefits, waterproofing included. So, the Freecom is a budget option if you have basic needs. Otherwise, it's the Packtalk Slim all day long. The Packtalk Bold is clunkier, but otherwise identical if you have some weird helmet that won't accept a Slim. And from Senna, we have two flops. The 20S Evo, hopeless, and the overpriced 30K. In the battle of Cardo versus Senna, Cardo dominates three years in a row. Only reason to buy a Senna is to match your mates because two brands talk to each other worse than Trump and Kim Jong-un. Okay. It takes a lot of effort to set up and the communication's kind of awkward when you do. Easy now. So if your friends have Cardo's dandy for you, if your friends have Senna's... Fine. Yep. Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a gal with the bright red hair. Now she stands high from all the rest. You know